<laughs> Ooh, okay. Okay, girl. <laughs> Two, one. What do you do, baby? Welcome back to my... Why are you laughing, Tiago? I told you. Two, one. What do you do, baby? Uh, <laughs> Those who don't know who I am, I am Mpo Bagli, the owner of this channel. And if you are new to my channel, thank you so much for stopping by. And if you are an old sabi, hello baby. Thank you guys so, so much for 1,000 subscribers. I know I haven't said thank you since the last video. Thank you guys so, so much. I appreciate every single one of you and I love you all so, so, so much for 1,000 subscribers. We're currently on the way to 2K, so keep on telling every single person you know to subscribe and to comment and to like and to do all those amazing things that you guys already know about. Um, so today I am bringing you guys another installment of our new segment on this channel because all we do is give content, darling. And then, first and most importantly, I need to mention where we are. You guys can see it's so cute. There's some teeth over here. There's a little dentist and all these cute things over here. We are at a practice called Smile Spot in Soshangube. It is owned by Dr. Titi Mahale. Yes, correct. And it is in Soshangube opposite, what's the name? Thorn Tree uh, Plaza. Opposite Thorn Tree Plaza. So guys, if you are around Pretoria, if you are around Pretoria North, even around Johannesburg, around Gauteng, even in Limpopo, wait, listen, wait. wherever you are, if you want to get your teeth done or you want to go see a dentist, you want to get a checkup, please come to Smile Spot. I think they have other branches. Yeah, they have one in Precious Room. So guys, you see, nationwide essentially is what i'm saying to you <laughs> if you guys want to see a dental practitioner or you just want to get in touch with them get to know their prices or get to know where they are and how exactly to get here or to the other franchise please go and uh add them on the instagram at smile spot so at smile spot everywhere on instagram and thank you so much to smile spot for giving us the space also maybe they'll give you something if you say you're from this channel so just say just go there and say no probably sent me here from her channel and then maybe you'll get a young you know only those who really dm will know if they get something you understand so go go and do the thing so as you guys can see i have a beautiful lady sitting next to me she's gonna introduce herself let us get right into this video we're not gonna waste any more time so guys my guest is gonna tell you guys who she is and what it is she does and why she's here she's not just a pretty face so listen <laughs> Hi guys, thank you for having me on your channel. I love your channel so much. My name is Tiamu Mwakiri and I am a final year dentistry student mm -hmm. at Sofako Mahati Health Sciences University. So same thing. <laughs> I love to hear it. Guys, I'm very biased towards this. That's all I'm going to say. That's what you need to know for this channel. So I've noticed that there's BDT, yes. BDS, mm -hmm. and BOH. Yeah. What's the difference? Okay, I'll just start off with BOH. So BOH is Bachelor of Oral Hygiene. They are responsible for giving oral hygiene instructions and so forth and so forth and running um, campaigns and programs that have to do with oral hygiene. Okay, okay. So it's more of like oral hygiene promotion and so forth. Um, with dental therapy, it's more of the therapeutic side of dentistry. Um, your, they do your cleaning, they do your fillings, and they also do your extractions. Mm -hmm. And then they'll ask. <laughs> so basically, we do what the dental therapists do, mm -hmm. but we also do crowns, we also do endo, which is root canal treatments, mm -hmm. and yeah, just a couple of minor surgeries as well. So you guys do the painful stuff? Not even. <laughs> the only thing that's painful really is the injection, but otherwise everything, everything else is okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So then, which of the three, which one can open their own surgery, or all three can? All three can. Okay. You just have to remain within your field. Okay. Okay. Of um, practicing all your school, brother. Sorry, guys. I'm just looking at the questions here. Um, how many years of study is your degree? Mm -hmm. You can tell us all three if you want to, but. Yours particularly, which is dental surgery. Yeah. How many years is your uh, degree? And then are there any additional years, like maybe internship, concept? Like how long does it take for me to say, I am officially a dentist? Okay, so with oral hygiene,
achievements. I'm not so sure about that. Uh, dental therapy is three years. And then you don't really get any community service or internship. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you just have to like hustle for yourself or whatever. You can low come, you can work for a dentist, or you can open your own practice. Mm. And then with BDS, um, we have community service for a year, and then after that you're on your own. Or you can be retained if you're lucky, or it depends really on what your preference is. Okay. If you want to be retained, then that's good for you if you do get retained. But if you don't want to be retained and you're retained, then, you know, it's a different story. So, and, okay, with specializing, um, you need a certain number of under, sort of like, years in practice. So after you qualify and then now you do your community service, mm -hmm. you need like, I don't know, I think it's a minimum of four years. But now I've seen people actually come back, <laughs> so I'm not so sure about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, yeah, I think you need like a few years of private practice and then you can come back again. And, uh, and study further more, yeah. And then how many years is the BDS? It's five years. It's five years. Yeah. Okay, and then when you say specialize, what kind of specialties are they like? What do you specialize in, for okay, example? Great question. So we have different specialties in dentistry. Um, we have ortho, which oh, orthodontics, <laughs> <laughs> which is um, a specialty in sort of like the alignment of teeth, your mm -hmm. braces, mm -hmm. your mm, not maxillary guys, upper jaw and lower jaw surgery, yeah, and stuff like that to correct your the alignment, like of how your teeth. you bite and oh. the alignment of your teeth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. sometimes it's not just your teeth that are malaligned, it's also the relationship of your jaws. Mm. Sometimes you may need to correct that. And then you have um, maxillofacial and oral surgery, which is responsible for um, surgery for different things like your trauma, um, sometimes plastic surgery on the facial aspect. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, but it's mostly trauma okay. that occurs on the face. And then we have periodontology and oral medicine which is um, a, speci a speciality that focuses on um, how do I put this I'm trying not to use medical terms yeah oral lesions how do you describe <laughs> oral lesions <laughs> sores sores know. yes <laughs> sores in the mouth and you know growths and cancers and mm, so forth okay yes, they study the that, that so there's a lot to do guys just because you guys just think you go to the dentist and they clean your teeth and that's all and they that's do. Cool. Ah, God. <laughs> do better. <laughs> do better. Aye, aye, aye. Also, please tell them how often they must go to the dentist. Um, We say you must come to the dentist twice a year, but I say come as often as you need. Mm. And change your toothbrush. Please do. <laughs> but, like, <laughs> there's a dilemma. Because um, a lot of people ask how after how long should you change your toothbrush and so forth and so forth. For me personally, I don't think it's reasonable for a person to change their teeth brush every three months. So I'd say you should change it once the bristles start to change their form or shape. Mm -hmm. That's more practical. Yeah. Yeah. What are the requirements from high school? So if I'm in high school right now and I'm thinking of doing BDS, yeah. what should I be concentrating on? What are the marks that I should be getting? Okay, to be honest, the minimum requirements they give you on the prospectus, obviously, are not gonna get you in because Always. it's very competitive. So I say aim for the seven. Mm. That's what I did. Mm. So, yeah. Guys, distinctions, <laughs> distinctions for everything. That's yeah. the plan. We always tell you don't aim for the minimum. Yes, we know it says something else on the prospectus. But yeah. aim for higher than that. Because they take how many? Forty two, I think. And that's inclusive of like about ten who already have done something like they have a something degree before. and whatever. So purely from the trick it's about a class of 30 people and i'm sure there's way way more people that apply so yes. guys just do the best you can she says get sevens and i agree with her it's an important subject it's math <laughs> it's physical sciences it's life sciences okay yeah so those three are the so if i don't do, well. if i don't do life sciences i can't do dentistry Mm -hmm. Not child. No, like where can I work as a dentist? Can I work in public? Can I work in private? Can I work at the local clinic? Can I only work in the hospitals? Like what? What can I do? So you can basically work anywhere, in private practice where you open your own practice and work for yourself, or you can collaborate with other private practitioners in the field, mm -hmm. or you can go to public health um, 
environments like your local clinics you can go to the hospital mm -hmm. really you can just broaden your basically your anywhere horizon. you mm -hmm. can go anyway with dentistry yeah now what is your favorite thing about the field that you are working in oh okay that's a great question like i just like seeing people like people's reaction once they get whatever it is that they came to get you know mm. like it's a new smile it's confidence it's, it's just that man like just seeing someone someone's life actually transform just by you giving them a new set of teeth mm. that just makes me so happy and teeth are like very important because they, they are me. literally that's the first thing apparently i don't honestly i don't really that's not the first thing I notice about <laughs> people. But most people say that that's the first thing they notice about. Mm, I'm one of these people. Really? Yeah. What's your least favorite thing about your field? Ooh, it's very hard to say because <laughs> um, I was very intentional when I studied dentistry. Mm -hmm. um, I wanted to study something in the health field, but I didn't know what exactly. So I did my proper research. I like everything about it, like flexible working hours environment so it's really hard to say like i'm not even trying to be bougie mm. like it's really hard to say there's nothing nothing that's okay <laughs> some people love their jobs guys some people love the things that they're doing every single thing it's okay <laughs> i like that oh okay i know <laughs> the bed aches i don't like that yeah yeah i don't like that because you you bend down a lot or what yeah well you taught how to sit but it doesn't really help mm. much because just yeah. sitting the whole day is strenuous guys Bad. So, <laughs> what do people think you guys do versus what you do? I think that wow. actually has a, <laughs> has a lot to do with the degree because I think people think all you guys study the same thing it's and you all do teeth. the same thing. Yeah. But, like, how do you think we just studying teeth, guys, for five years? You only know, have 32 teeth in the job. <laughs> <laughs> but I understand, man. Um, there's a lot that we study. We study the human body, we study physiology, anatomy, how other structures relate to the teeth and how they impact the teeth. And also how other medical condition affect the teeth. The mm. medication that you take for certain um, things, conditions, can actually affect your teeth. Obviously, they will affect your saliva, and then the saliva, the quality, will affect your teeth. Yeah. So for five years, you're not just doing teeth. You're not just studying doing the nerves, all those nerves, things, all of these things, guys. Yeah. They don't just do tea. <laughs> Stop this thing. You're actually, you're actually not perfect. Like, people have asked, guys, this is five years. Why? 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 That's the thing about the body, it's very interconnected. You mm. cannot study the body in isolation. And just not know everything, everything else. Because I'm going to take out a tooth and then the arm moves or something. Exactly. You know? So you need to okay, do Well, not that. Maybe get a headache or something. <laughs> that was an extreme example. <laughs> but like I said, you can have a heart condition and then it causes, or it can be yeah. caused by the them taking out a tooth or an infection from the tooth yes, spread into the body. Spread to the heart. So yeah. it's very important to interconnect these things because we all end up working together anyway, which so is what we've been saying on this channel. That just because people just think that it's always just the doctor, the doctor. It's not just yeah. the doctor. Everybody works together and everybody's very, very important. Yeah. Um, what are common misconceptions people have about your field or that like your degree? Obviously, the one that you just pointed now, the fact that people think we just like teeth and that's just about it. Mm. Oh, also, the second one has to be the fact that we like constant pain. Guys, literally the only thing that's <laughs> painful about going to the dentist is the injection. But that's so that you don't feel pain during the procedure. Yeah. So, once the injection is done, then you shouldn't feel pain. Yeah. Once you feel pain, then there's a problem. Like, the dentist has to stop. If they continue while you're feeling pain, then it's very unethical for them to do that. Mm. It's very unethical. Go to another dentist. Yeah, because it's very traumatizing. Imagine you have a very like bad experience with that. You're never gonna wanna go to the dentist back. again. And then, what can you tell somebody who's sitting somewhere, mm -hmm. either in another degree, or in matric, mm -hmm. or in like lower high school, who wants to do dentistry, or who's not sure, they are maybe thinking, should I do medicine? Should I do nursing? Should I do this? Should I do that? What would you tell them to be like, to make sure that like dentistry is where they are going? Just do it. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. I feel like research is very important. Like, and by research, I mean, before you get into the field, study about it, ask people, 
um try to job share like i can tell you but i feel like there are a lot of things that you'll miss out if you're not like really exposed to the mm -hmm. environment mm -hmm. so i think job shadowing helps i think like really doing research helps and finding out and finding out like watching channels like this okay i know i didn't really answer your question but like i'm trying to push people to do their own research so that they're exposed mm -hmm. to different no, options right. like get different perspectives read about each whatever course that you want to study so, so that you know what so that do. you know what you're getting yourself mm. into and then what's like one thing that you'd say i'd rather be a dentist than be a doctor like maybe the working, like hours, working like, hours that's what i was thinking that was literally, literally, that I was is like, why i, was I think like, <laughs> i like medicine eh? but i'm not about that 36 hour call mm. i'm not about that life here the story. hours are flexible you sort of choose when you want to work exactly. especially if you have your it's own practice now. yeah so guys go to dentistry it's very chill. I feel like Tiago has sold it. I won't lie. It's very chill, guys. Like flexible <laughs> working hours. Just really happy. You intake with one patient. You know, it's very nice. Mm. Yeah. Also, she's just sold it. Like she seems happy. This girl doesn't dislike anything in her degree. Like it seems like it's nice. They were dentists. I don't know. It is. Come in. Every episode, I realize that maybe I made the maybe wrong decision. <laughs> so, Tiago, tell us about the money. How is it? Is the money good? Can I buy it? I understand that. I understand that. Yeah. Ashwan. Yeah, man. She's coming What time is it? Yeah, dentistry, guys. Like, wow. What's I, actually, I heard a myth. Mm -hmm. And that I want to ask you about. I don't know if it's a myth. Maybe it's the truth. Hey, this is also going to hurt my heart. I don't know if I want to ask this question. I know that question. <laughs> <about that. laughs> it's true. I don't know if I should it's tell this. It's true. Me. Yo, my heart. It's true. Why? <laughs> Why? Why? So apparently, you guys earn more than us in intention. <laughs> Is it the truth? <laughs> Is it a lie? I personally would like to know. I don't know what you guys want to know, but I personally would like to know. <laughs> <laughs> apparently, yes. <laughs> You have to save because nothing is guaranteed after your community service. Mm. Unlike you guys, where you're almost certain that you're going to be retained. You have okay. community service, you have, you have internship, then there's a great possibility of you being retained. As At opposed the hospital, to myself. Yeah. yeah. Hi, next question. <laughs> so, oh yeah, you were still telling us. You were still telling us about the money. How is it? You don't have to tell us exactly how much you earn or how much you think they earn. Like, can I drive a, a German machine? Can I live in a double story somewhere in Pretoria East? Can I live yeah. in an estate? Like, how is it? Is, am I going to be comfortable? Can I afford a Louis V bag? You can, most definitely. But like I said, um, <clears throat> oh, it's very tricky to answer this one. Let's just say, best case scenario, you get retained. Most definitely, you can get a German car. You can live in a nice suburb, whatever. And you can get yourself some nice wee bags and travel into mm -hmm. Mauritius and you know and Seychelles and whatever. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So the money oh, when you have your own private practice and it's doing well, you can also do that. Mm. Yeah. So would you say a private practice or being retained is the best option? Mm, for a beginner, I think being retained is much safer because also with private practice you run the risk of not making profit. Let's just mm. say you open your private practice in a place where people are not really familiar to your brand or mm. they don't resonate with your brand or for whatever reason it just doesn't do well mm. then it's gonna, it's gonna go down yeah. you're not gonna reach but the then if, if the money is good then let's go no. let's, let's go, go. Oh, oh, oh. if it ain't about the money don't be calling me up. Okay. Thank you so much, Tiamo, for coming to my channel and coming to talk to all my subbies about dentistry. So, guys, if you guys want to be a dentist or you want to find out more or you want to know the difference between the different degrees, you want to see what's, like, best for you, Tiamo is available. So you can add her on Instagram and I'll put all her social media handles in the description box. I know they do <laughs> In the description box and don't forget to subscribe guys go and follow her like oh my day she was miss smu oh how dare i forget how dare, how dare i forget <laughs> how dare i how dare
So she was with SMU as well. So you guys can see, like, this girl, oh, like, she's smart. She's the whole package. Like, eh, she have a boyfriend. <laughs> Maybe someone's watching. <laughs> Maybe a husband. If you have money. <laughs> so, yeah. let's go. Let's go follow her. Let's do the thing. Let's grow the channel. And yes, let's subscribe. I love that. <laughs> Thank you guys so so much for watching. <laughs> this video is a bit chaotic. Yes. Oh, I love that for us. <laughs> but thank you guys so so much for watching. I'll see you in the next episode. Love Don't you forget guys. to subscribe, guys. Guys, hit the button somewhere here. It's free. I it's red. Some people think that I used to think that you have to pay. <laughs> it's free, guys. It's free. It's free. Guys. So if the button somewhere under here is red still, that means you're not subscribed. So click on it so that it turns grey. That means you're subscribed. You understand? Know? Uh -huh. And hit the bell button mm -hmm. to get so notifications. So you know every, every single time that I post. Mm -hmm. And then I will see you guys in the next video. Hopefully, I am bringing you guys a great content still. And you guys are still loving the segment. Let me know what you think in the description box. Tell me if I should stop if you don't believe. This is helping you. That's also fine. Do you know what I'm saying? I don't like to fight. I don't like to fight. You know, so, that's the memo for 2020. Bye, guys. Bye.